Yo, what's up guys, welkom bij weer een nieuwe video en we zijn aangekomen bij chapter 5 van Breaking Point 2 in F1 23. En in de vorige hoofdstuk zagen we natuurlijk dat we in de voetsporen mochten treden van Kelly Meyer, een vrouwelijke coureur in F2. En na een onconventionele pitstop wist ze toch de race op zand voor te winnen. En dat is waar we zijn gebleven. We gaan kijken. En trouwens, onze, onze Kelly Meyer die is onder de hoede genomen door onze A-teamgenoot Casper Akkermans, de Nederlander met een bijzonder Brits accent. Maar hey... We let it slide. We gaan door naar het volgende hoofdstuk. Hey boss, got another one for you. While we've been able to keep the F1 Connor Sport shop fully stocked, we're getting some negative press regarding the quality of the finish of some of the items. Frankly, it's not up to our usual standards. We've had some issue. Uh, we've had to issue more refunds than expected, and it's affected uh, our projected numbers for the year. Zal het in de nieuws uh, uitgesproken zijn? Nee, nee, valt wel mee. We worden wel gebeld door David of Connor, just uh, thought I'd call for a catch up. Wait, wait, wait. What time is it where you are? Doesn't matter. I wanted a report before the race. Ah, right. I did ask them to send across all the data to you. Perhaps they forgot. I'll make sure to. Um, no, 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 I've got it all here. Busy man, Andrea. I don't have time to read all that. H how's it all look? Uh, the card is running well, data solid, whole team seems confident, and based on the forecasts, we're sticking to the original tie strategy as we discussed, so we'll see. Good. And the boys? Keeping to themselves, so no fireworks. Aiden's been a little quiet, but that's usually a good sign before a race. And Devon's... Uh... I've already spoken to Devon, he's good to go. Oh. Right. Well, veranderde daar, veranderde daar ineens de stem van uh, Andreo. Oké, okay, dit wordt eens even social media kijken. Old Man Butler interview. Ja, ja, ja. Wat, wat heeft hij gezegd over zijn zoon dan? In een conversation with the biggest butler of them all. Let's go about this. Sonny won't answer me. Why on earth would I want to talk about Devin? It's media interview. Come on, focus. Oké, okay. dat maakt sens, makes sens. E-mail, car update. The full report is on your desk, we're in a good place. Dat is mooi. Ik kijk dus een interview met Butler. En team dinner update. Gaan we naar de race. En we racen op Japan. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes. As is usual with the movie industry, there's been a delay in production, so the filming will take place next season, booked in for just after the Spanish GP race weekend. These clashes, uh, this clashes with the scheduled mid-season testing day in Catalonia. Davidov is keen we allow Connorsport to get as much exposure as possible and stick to the filming schedule. We can't realis realistically commit to both. I hate to say it, but Davidov is right. The film is too good of an opportunity to pass up. Getting Connorsport on the big screen is excellent for the team. We can't buy that kind of publicity. Heel eerlijk, ik zou zelf natuurlijk zeggen testing. Maar Davidoff is natuurlijk een grote sponsor van ons team. Het is een belofte die we hebben gemaakt. Dus gaan we daarmee. Oké okay, mate, I need you to push before the pit window opens. Push, push. On it. Acht ronden te gaan de pit window. Oké. Okay. Nou, daar ga je niet echt rond, hè? Altijd een prachtige circuit, uh, Suzuka. We gaan dit jaar ook rijden in de Grand Turismo 7 League. Het is de laatste race van het seizoen. Ik wilde dat dat ook bijzonder was. Niet helemaal lekker die bocht in. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. Ja, we rijden op mediums vol, medium en soft. Ik 
afleven een beetje over de curb. Bijzonder technische creo natuurlijk. Oké, okay, gap to the car behind. Car behind. 2.0 seconds. Bot als ons doel dus. We hebben hem al in het plezier. Ik moet even bij kunnen kapen. In de slip stream. Moeten we moeten zelfs een beetje liften. That's it. That's weird. That's heel weird. He's been making steady progress today, and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results. And they could do without this and look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels in the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait. Just sat like in the car. Like Mercedes, What is going on down at the Ferrari. Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car. And Aiden Jackson's back out in the race. But it's a long time in the pit. And that will cost them dearly. Okay, we're going for the last place. Mm. What was that? How many places did I lose? Okay, try not to worry bunches. about that, Aiden. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's put it back. Uh, I'm sick of this! Aiden Jackson, a little Tsunoda over the, uh, over the board radio. Dertiende, jeetje. We zien ze al uh, voor ons. We moeten grote sprongen maken. We hebben het verse rubber. We weten dat we het kunnen. Die move op Bottas was hier niet heel netjes, maar het zag een kant. Verkeerd gegokt eigenlijk. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, Aie, One Dan mag dat. Just five laps of fuel remaining. Send it. Okay, car behind trailing us. 8.4 seconds. Then we'll have Pierre Gasly for us. We'll try to get the and uh, een move te maken. En hier zijn we. Oh, er is geen ruimte. Ik zit vast. En nog een schaf wel. Good job, nice overtake. Je moet agressief zijn.
maar een stukje surfen over de curve. En we halen weer in op hetzelfde okay, moment. Science kind of rijdt voor ons, dus dat is een goed teken. Het heeft mechanische problemen. Dat zou het werk makkelijker moeten maken. Nog niet anders. Geen DRS. Dat verbaast me. Geen angst. Ah, Bottas moet wel gelukken. Dat moet wel gaan lukken. En het bonus objective is dus Butler verslaan. Die rijdt ervoor. Dat moet niet onmogelijk zijn. En we zien hem ook. De jacht is geopend. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead. Twee rondes. Rijdt right op mediums. Deze nieuwe F1 23 raad zoveel meer grip hebben. Van plekken waar je vorig jaar toch wel een beetje je hart vasthield. We zijn dit jaar zoveel makkelijker. En daar is die Butler. En dan gaan we nog bij. Toch minder agressief is die in het echt dan in de cutscenes. Okay, Kijk, dat ziet er wel heel makkelijk op. Echt een zeven pakken, dat werd veel beter. Oké, okay, we hebben nog één lap van fuel remaining. Woe! <laughs> dat scheelde echt niets. Dat scheelde echt niets. Devin aardig plakken. We reden sneller naar hem toe dan van de weg.
stond nog op uh, 1.4 op dit moment. Hoeven we ons geen zorgen te maken, maar ik heb wel iets meer van gewacht. En gap to the car in front is 4.4 seconds. Ja, dit kan we niet halen. Het gaat net meer dan 1,1 seconde. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well, it's still too close to call at the top of the tape. Laat er aan Max stappen, wie anders. You can really understand Aiden Jackson's frustration this time. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Prof. D. They've had a bad mix-up in the garage today. Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that. It's the longest pit stop we've had this season. Not the sort of record any team wants to set. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today. And it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. I don't know if the player models are better uitzien or slechter. Some moments it looks better, but this looks weer so rare. So derpy. Zoals de engineers zien er beter uit. Echt zo'n rare facecam, weet je wel. Zoals je die op de PlayStation 2 kon maken en shit. Met FIFA. En nog een paar andere games. Wat hebben ze volledig over woord gegooid, volgens mij. Aiden, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That pit stop looked like a nightmare. So what on earth happened today? I had media training, so hey. Yeah, well, we know that every race has a hiccup, so you can just never tell when it's going to happen. You just got to be ready and roll with the punches. I guess on the plus side, a mess up like that means that this mistake will never happen again. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. So, do you think is there any truth to that, or is it an unfair assumption? Um, we willen geen olie op het vuur gooien en we verslaan hem vooralsnog. Dus hij is geen bedreiging. Um, we, kijk, we zouden een beetje cheeky kunnen zijn en zeggen Devon could use a bit of preferential treatment with his current performance. Maar ik denk dat we het houden op. His dad may be funding the team, but we treat it equally. En heel eerlijk, hoe, Devin, of, uh, hoe Davidoff zich naar ons opstelde, It's a good question. leek eerlijk. Davidoff Butler may be funding the team, but he's a good man. He, he works hard to make sure that everyone's equal. So, no, I don't think so. Well, Aiden, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devin bumping wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mountain problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? Um, who knows what the future will bring? Right now, it's all about Connor Sport. Yeah, I've been thinking about next season. But who knows what the future will bring? At the moment, it's all about Connor Sport and bringing in as many points as I can. And finally, I've got to ask you about this. Rumors have recently emerged that you will be playing a role in the next Throttle Zone film. Can you comment on this? Uh, I'm really excited. Of course, of course. We can be honest, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's good exposure for the team. But if we do it, we can say that we're excited. Yeah, I'm super excited for it, and I can't wait to see what I'm going to be doing. They they approached me um, for a part, and it sounds so, so fun. I can't wait for to start this opportunity. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stuck in the pits, natuurlijk. Het uh, debacle in de pitstraat, breed uitgemeten. Worden gebeld door Davidov. Talk to me. About what? You saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. <laughs> what is even the point in wasting any more energy? It's not the car, it's the team. It's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this. Which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but the top three are talking, Aiden. What? What? They've already reached out to us. Looks like there might be some last minute negotiations on the cards, but keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. Contracted for another season, 
but your um, tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything you're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connorsport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. You know I'm here whenever you need me. Speak soon. Heel eerlijk man, Aiden is een beetje entitled, nogal whiny. En het is redelijk opvallend hoe Davidoff aan onze kant staat. Speelt hij een dubbele rol? Ik weet, aan de andere kant hebben we ook gezien dat we niks negatiefs over zijn zoon mogen zeggen. Tegenover de uh, team, principal. We gaan meemaken in ieder geval. We lijken er dus goed op te staan bij de top drie teams. Nou, wat, wie zullen dat zijn? Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull. We gaan meemaken. Dit was chapter 5 van Breaking Point. En binnenkort... Chapter 6. Thanks voor het kijken en tot de volgende keer. Ciao!